It came gradually. Getting into woodworking was like a slow experience, kind of like. The real game changer for me was my good friend hit me up and was like, do you want to be part of this gallery? And I was like, I would love to be. And my frames all sold and gave back to like this skate scene called Skatistan. That's where it all started. So we just got to North Hollywood Park. Kids at the skate parks are always breaking boards, so I always come through. There's like seven parks in the area. I'll just pick up all the scraps. And these broken skateboards are fully restructurable. We got some supplies. Let's do this. Christmas came around, and I was out here in California. I was like, you know what? I'm going to make some friends, some photo frames. So I just literally cut little two-inch strips and like start putting these four-by-four four frames together. And uh, it was just a whole new project at hand. I got kindled. I got sparked. I was like, this is what I want to do, you know? Anyone that's going to start woodworking, best of luck, you need time. <laughs> if you're going to utilize a broken skateboard, the biggest thing is just getting it to this. Like, you can go to the lumber yard and just grab a giant piece of wood and get building. But to get to this point is the hardest thing because you have to degrip the board, you have to sand it, and then you have to glue it up, and then you have to sand it, make it flush, and then you start your project. I love taking that time and like see it kind of like come together. It's so rad what you can get into just from a broken board, but I worked my way up. I started making like little skate rings for the friends and then made like some cutting boards. You just start putting pieces together and it's like, fuck dude, that's epic looking. You'll start building. All the equipment and everything that I go in, like each sale, like I'm putting it back into where I grew up and I'm putting it towards new machines and stuff like that. So it's like, it's a full circle. I skate, I break a board and now I get to recreate it and then it gives back to where I grew up. It's kind of awesome, you know, one piece to the next and just dabbling into what you can make. It's almost like skateboarding. Like you want a kickflip, you want a kickflip back tail. It's like you're always upgrading. I'd see all this wooden stuff that was made and I was like, damn, this would be so rad to make. Like your like, mind just takes off. Now it's blossomed into a whole backyard turned into woodworking. <laughs> it's pretty amazing. A broken board, it goes such a long way. You have all this material to reuse. Never mind the story behind each skater and what went into that trick. It unfolds a whole story behind a project that you've just built if you're recycling boards. I see myself, you know, making tree houses or like making a mini ramp. I want to utilize everything around me and like, I just want to build cool shit and I want to find like new projects to work with people. So from skateboarding to woodworking, it goes hand in hand. Thank you.